Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and uh, today we are going to look at uh, uh, triangular irregular networks so in order to understand what you are talking about let me just open this particular document and it's a document from uh, S3 so according to S3 uh, triangular irregular networks otherwise uh, known as TIN are just a uh, digital means to represent surface morphology so these things are a form of a vector based digital geographic data and are constructed by triangulating a set of uh, vertices so guys uh, i recommend that you uh, just search for this particular document and uh, read about these things it contains the uh, important information so uh, let us just uh, open uh, Arc map so that we can create a uh, thin surface. So uh, I need to add uh, data or points that contain the elevation values. So I'm just going to add my data. So these are the points, and uh, I open the attribute table. I realize that we have the elevation values. Those points have elevation values, and it's very important to have. The elevation values because what you're going to do you're just going to visualize the uh, elevation elevation surface or the uh, the digital elevation uh, model in a 3d so uh, in order to create the tin just open the add toolbox so it's just uh, the top here just click on this particular icon and then uh, look for three 3d analyst tool expand and again uh, look for data management this one here and click on this particular plus icon to expand so now you see you have tin expand tin and what you you are looking for you want to create tin so just double click on create tin so uh, the output is where you want to store your tin surface and uh, mine i'm going to store it on the desktop and i'm going to create a new folder tin surface and uh, i'm going to give it a name so the coordinate system uh, you need to check your data just right click on your data and go to properties so uh, the project record system is uh, NAD 1983 UTM zone 14 north so what you can do now that we have this particular uh, data I know where my data is stored I can just go ahead and add the coordinate system. Uh, so I can do two things. Now because I know the coordinate system, I can go ahead and add or otherwise I can just decide to import. Uh, but uh, since I know the coordinate system, I'm just going to add and it's the projected coordinate system. Just expand and look for UTM uh, so it's UTM and it's NAD 1983 NAD 1983 that's expand and uh, it's UTM zone 14 north scroll down to zone 14 north this one here and double click to view the properties so everything is set everything is okay uh, make sure that it is highlighted then click ok and then now input is uh, data and automatically as you can see uh, it has detected the height field uh, as the elevation value that's very crucial here make sure that uh, the field the height field is elevation and click ok uh, as you can see now we have uh, digital elevation model let me just uncheck the points 
So you can go ahead and right click to change some few things to improve or make. So under symbology, uh, we want uh, first of all to change. Uh, we want the classes to be, we want around five classes. And then uh, we want natural breaks. So the classific classification method. So if you don't know what uh, classification, uh, data classification is, just let me just open another article. So uh, you can just go ahead and search uh, data classification and uh, GS data classification that is and read about the interval, equal intervals. We have the quantiles, we have uh, natural breaks, uh, and so on. So you can read about the natural breaks and see what it is. Go ahead and read about equal intervals and other data classification. So for me, I'm just going to choose uh, natural breaks. Let me first of all uh, put 10 classes so that you can see how data behaves. So let's do about like using a uh, five and again apply and click OK. So now we have our team and this is uh, a 3D visualization of uh, the elevation surface of this particular region. So that's the end of this tutorial guys. Uh, kindly remember to subscribe, uh, like uh, this video and uh, see you in the next tutorial.